my friend never learn Islam from Muslims they do lie they do lie when I was studying Islamic law <clears throat> for some people maybe do not know I have a degree in, in, in law which is Islamic law supposedly I never learned anything about Islam because who dare to question you know what you learn what they want you to know and what you want you to know that Allah is amazing Muhammad is amazing Islam is perfect the law of Islam is perfect but it's the most stupid cult ever but who dare to question I did not learn from the school I have to work myself to learn what Islam teach otherwise Islam doesn't you know there's nothing you go to Islamic school they teach you nothing they will never speak about something negative they will never answer a question you don't even allow you're not allowed the Quran in chapter 5 verse 101 it says clearly ask not questions <clears throat> ask not questions okay why we cannot ask questions because if you ask questions that will be a problem Islam has no answers it's very embarrassing verse number 102 it says why because if you ask questions let me show you okay and the funny the number of the verse is 101 <laughs> it's a miracle do you see it why we cannot ask questions verse 102 says why because if you ask questions you leave Islam the second you ask questions first of all Allah has no answer Muhammad you do not know what he's talking about he's a thief he's a false prophet and now you want to ask questions okay and who's going to answer you Allah he have no answers so this is a cult based on ask no questions and the funny it says ask on things which is made it plain to you I mean if I cannot ask about things made it plain to me I will ask you about things I know I mean how stupid this this this, this phrase is Imagine I ask you where is the direction of this place and I know the direction So people will not ask you questions about things they knew they will ask you questions about things they do not know <laughs> So what do you mean ask questions about things you you know you, you, they are playing for you? So what they will ask you a question about what? Do you see how crazy this cult is? And in the verse, which is after, it says, because because of those questions, some people before you they ask to say such questions and they lost their faith. And the Muslim they try to explain this by giving you all the funny, stupid excuses. What is Allah? Oh, you cannot ask that. How Allah look like? You cannot ask that. Okay, Allah has a hand. How the hand of Allah? You cannot ask that. Allah have a shin. How his shin look like? You cannot ask that. Okay, how Allah is God, but he, you know, he says stupid things. Oh, you cannot ask that. Ask any question you want, as long as it is silly and stupid. Like, as an example, allowed questions. Brother, can I shave under arms? Now, you will see the scholar he have, he is like excited, and he will give you all the answers you want. He will start giving you, quoting you hadith. The prophet, he used to shave his pubic area. The prophet used to do sugar. He used to wax his bum. Uh, suddenly, it's halal. Brother, can a man, sorry, can a woman wash her vagina after masturbation? And right away, the scholar, he will start quoting for you that, yes, brother, a woman, her name, Um Musaleen, and she is the auntie of the prophet, and later she offered herself to sleep with the prophet. Look how decent this nation is. As you see, this is the stupidity of Islam. And then they make tons of articles for you to fool you. And the problem is, you see, maybe those articles are funny. But those articles can be convincing for somebody is naive. This is why you need to share knowledge with your children. And this is why what we do is extremely important. Don't wait until your child come back home and a bunch of Muslims, they lie to him and deceive him. Then it's going to be very hard to convince him that Islam is a very bad religion. Don't wait until you get the flu to fight the flu. There's something called the flu shot. And here I'm talking about something I do. That is the flu shot against Islam. Take your shot. It doesn't hurt you. To have some knowledge so you have resistance for diseases so uh, you know this is why actually if you ask the Muslims as an example uh, the Quran speak about names if we ask the Muslims who are they what their names mean they don't know Jibreel who is Jibreel what Jibreel mean they don't know but Jibreel is, is not one word it is a sentence actually 
is not just a name same as Israel same as Mikael same as Abraham uh, same as uh, Ishmael I mean they have names but they have no idea what they are simply because this is a religion is stealing names from other religion <clears throat> if you ask the Muslims what Israel mean and who is Israel not a single Muslim knows <clears throat> But this is mentioned in the Quran almost 40 times, and yet you do not know what Israel means. No, they don't know because this is a stolen word from different religion, and they do not know what it means. And if we ask them who is Israel, you keep saying the children of Israel. Where in the Quran we can find who is this guy and who are the children of Israel? They say to you, the children of Israel is the Jews. Okay, who is Israel? Not a single place in the Quran says who is this person. <clears throat> And here that is shown us that Islam is nothing but aftermarket copy, which is a false religion. What kind of a prophet he cannot explain to us what he's talking about, and what kind of God he said to us, We made this book is so clear to the point we say is in the interpretation Allah knows best. Why we are reaching the point to say Allah knows best in a book, the Quran itself says we made the Quran with the clear details. So it is a clear to the point, nobody knows what it, it does mean. Do you see how do we have any Muslim would like to call me? By the way, today we made a video about having Islam advice everybody to watch it because it's a, it is it is really clarifying what Islam is about. Islam is about.